Equation to represent sinusoidal functions. Question number five. Suppose Ken is riding a Ferris wheel. The maximum height he attains is 16 meters and the minimum height is 0 meters. The time taken to make one cycle is about 6 minutes. Draw a graph which represents this scenario if Ken starts at a height of about 9 meters. So to find the equation of sinusoidal function representing the given situation, let's try to sketch it out and then figure out the equation. Now we know the maximum and the minimum height, so let's draw a sinusoidal function, right? Approximately, let's draw a sinusoidal function like this. Okay. Now we are given that the maximum height is 16. So I'll just draw a dotted line here saying that this is at 16, right? And the minimum is given to us as 0. So I'll write 0 here. Now it says, now let me draw a line right in the center also, which is kind of like this. So that's the sinusoidal function representing the situation. Now it says that the maximum height here attains is 16 meters, that's correct, and minimum height is 0 meters, fine. Time taken to make one cycle is about 6 minutes, right? So <clears throat> let us say that is the starting point, then the time taken is 6 minutes. Well, we really don't know what the starting point is. It says the time taken to make one cycle is 6 minutes. Draw the graph which represents the scenario if Ken starts at a height of 9 meters. So in between is 8 meters. So Ken is not really starting from 8 meters. So Ken is really starting from somewhere after that. So let me draw an axis here which is kind of after 8, right? And now that is my x-axis since we know that the height is zero. That is the kind of situation. So what we know from the given information is that this point is nine at zero, right? So that maximum is indeed 16, minimum is zero, of course. And in between, we do have a point which is eight. So that is the given scenario. Now, let's write down what we have so that we can find the equation. So we'll write the equation in the form of a sine function. So I like to write the equation of the form of y goes to a sine of k x minus d plus c, right? Now let us see how to find a, d, and c, and also k from here. Well, we know the time period. Time period is 6 minutes. So we know t equals to 6. Let's say minutes, okay? So that means the value of k should be equals to 360 degrees divided by 6 minutes, right? So that gives us 60. So k is 60 for us, right? Now, that is one thing we know now. Maximum and minimum is known to us and therefore we can find a, right? So a equals to maximum minus minimum divided by 2. Maximum is 16, minimum is 0, divided by 2 is 8, so we know. How about D? The average value, D is maximum plus minimum, divided by 2, and that is 16 plus 0 divided by 2 is also 8. Now how do we find D, the phase shift? That is always the most critical part, right? So let's figure that out. We'll find it from the initial conditions given to us. That at zero, height is nine meters, right? So we are going to utilize the point which is zero nine in the given equation to find what D is, okay? So at x equals to zero, y is nine. We can write this equation as nine equals to A we know is eight, right? Sign of k is known to us as 60, x we are writing 0, minus d plus c is 8. So that is what we get. If we solve this equation, we can find d. So 9 minus 8, we can write 9 minus 8, equals to 8 times sine of 
minus 60d okay that's fine so this gives us minus 1 over 8 equals to sine of rather we'll keep this as 1 we'll not we'll keep minus 60d in the brackets so that is I think a better way of doing it so we'll take this part on the right side and solve it further now sine inverse of 1 over 8 is minus 60d so we can write minus 60d equals to sine inverse of 1 over 8 right so let's use the calculator to figure this out so second function sine inverse 1 divided by 8 bracket close equals to 7.180 so that is 7.180 now this gives us d equals to 7.180 divided by minus 60 so we'll divide this by 60 and put negative sign there so it is equals to negative 0 0.1196 which I can approximate as 0 0.12 right so that is what I get the value of D now knowing all this we can write down our equation which is y equals to a is 8 for us sine of k k 60 x minus this so minus and minus becomes plus 0 0.12 plus c which is 8 right so that gives us the equation so that is how we can find the equation from a given situation I hope you understand and appreciate how we did it let's go through it once again so when you read the question it's a good idea to write down what is given to us I wrote it in the form of a sketch right you could also write it in the form like maximum equals to 16 right minimum equals to 0 and time period equals to 6 so you could write that and then from the given information you can find what amplitude is maximum minus minimum divided by 2 d is maximum plus minimum divided by 2 k is 360 divided by 6 once you get all this you can write down your equation right so first you can write down your equation as y equals 2 from these values <coughs> 8 sine 60 of x minus d plus 8 and then to find the value of d you can use the given point which was the y intercept 0 and 1 right to find the value of D the phase shift once you find D you know your equation right now that is how the question should be solved I hope you understand and appreciate the method thank you and all the best to look into more examples it's a good idea to subscribe to my videos and share them with your friends thank you